Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. <clears throat> Excuse me. The scripture that's popping in my head right now is, The soul that sinneth, it shall die. When Jesus said, I am the vine, and you are the branches, there's a connectiveness that we all must maintain. You can't be connected to God today and act like you never heard of him tomorrow and hook up with the brother the next day like, hey, it's all good. No, it ain't all good. See, what you're doing when you are disconnecting like that, you're creating a breach, what we call in the legal system a breach of contract. And when you create a breach, you're creating a weak spot in that area of connection and as life happens the weak spot gets bigger and bigger and the weakness gets stronger i know it's an oxymoron but the weakness gets stronger not your strength the weakness and before you know it whoop you're ripped off and you have severed your tie with god the sin that the soul that sinneth it shall die the life you felt, the invigoration, the ecstasy, the, the love, the, the peace, the joy, all that begins to wither, just like a branch that's been broken off from a bush or a tree. It withers and it dies because it is no longer connected to the vine. You cannot disconnect and expect to live out a holy prosperous, uh, productive, fruit-bearing life. It's not going to happen. The first thing's going to start dying is the fruit. Your love is going to turn to contempt. Your patience is going to turn to intolerance. Your peace is going to turn to anger. And before you know it, you're just turning into this little ugly duckling that you used to be. Because you're withering now in the spirit. You be careful thinking that you don't need God on a daily basis. You be careful. Because if you don't recognize your source, baby, you'll suck off of anything. There's an old expression. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Don't fall for Satan's tricks. Stand for God while you're still connected.